You can mess with a lot of things, but you do not mess with people's parking, man. How long did it take you to find a space here? Uh, probably five to ten minutes. It's irritating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Longer than usual? Yes. Case in point, the parking garage next to Valentine Village. There's no skateboarding sign, but there might as well be a no parking sign because as of this week, seemingly half of the spaces now have big metal poles planted in them. Uh, you block this side, that side, and you can turn around, you see the, uh, did the same thing with the, the first floor. Same deal with the two lots next to the garage, and no, you can't fit a car through here. What's the, uh... I mean, you can. Not feet is that? What's the average car, you know? Wait. I don't. I really don't know what all that is. What it is, is a property dispute. To understand what's going on, you have to understand where the property lines are. In fact, I'm standing on it right here. Behind me, it's one piece of property. Over here, it's full. That's another piece. Here's another view. After a foreclosure, the original owner who built Ballantine Village in 2006 now only owns the area outlined here in blue. And wouldn't you know it, that's the area that's blocked off with poles. I mean, check out this pole. It's maybe a foot or two inside the property line. What do you think about all that? I think it's silly. And there's another thing. The garage and two lots just happened to be for sale. When I called the owner, he declined the comment, saying there's also a lawsuit going on. So it plays like a little kid. So you're angry about it? <laughs> now, as for business here, a lot of them say it's been a little slower, but it's not been catastrophic. For others, desperate times call for desperate measures. At lunchtime, this guy just parked in front of the poles. Other people kept circling and circling and circling. So with all this swirl going on over parking, you might be wondering, where did I park? That's easy. On the street. In Valentine, Jeremy Markovich, NBC Charlotte.